Dish gardens are a great way to bring color and interest, both to indoor plantings and outdoor plantings. One secret to a good dish garden is to combine a variety of plants. For example, some long, narrow textures like this Warneckii, or perhaps the bold, narrow textures of a Dracaena do very well. Also combine different colors. The bold colors of a Croton make a good dish garden, as well as the fine texture of asparagus fern. And then there are the plants with the silvery foliage, such as this Dusty Miller. Uh, you want to combine various types of plants. I like to use ivies in a dish garden. They trail and can actually spill over the edge and add additional interest to your garden. Or perhaps a plant like this alyssum, which is also very nice spilling over the side of a garden. Now we have small containers that we can use for small statured plants. We can also have dish gardens that are as large as a half whiskey barrel. Always use a mix that's very lightweight and airy, one that drains very well. A combination of peat moss with some vermiculite and perlite works really well. You want to keep it moist but not soggy wet and make sure the container has good drainage. Now when you group your plants, choose plants that go well together. If it's an indoor dish garden, of course the house plants can all be good candidates. Outdoors, if you're going to put it in the shade, choose all shade loving plants. And if it's in the sun, then some of your flowering plants that like a little more sun. But collect a group of plants together that do well in the same location. With your common sense tip on providing a beautiful dish garden for your home or outdoors, I'm Skip Richter.